Good afternoon, everyone. My name's Ali Al Jabri. I'm Kenyan Saudi. I've lived in five continents. I speak five languages. And I actually have a confession to make. I'm a raging feminist. The reason that is is because five years ago, one of my friends was kidnapped. And unlike every other case of kidnapping, she actually made it back home. Now, AIG reported in 2019 that 40,000 kidnappings involving business travelers are reported each year. That's something unacceptable, and it's only one form of risk that employees face every day. OSHA reports that 7,000 near-death experiences happen at the workplace in the US alone. Here are just some examples of the risks that employees face that are both predictable but unpredictable at the same time. So it's been unacceptable that work-related deaths are reaching the highest levels they've ever reached, reached ever. And what we started doing is figuring out what employee groups are the ones that face it and started conversations with them. But more importantly, started conversations with the people who protect them, corporate security directors. And let me just enlighten you guys. These are ex-Secret Service, FBI, uh, CIA, so they have trust issues to share their information. But luckily, we're pretty cool, so we get along with them. It just so happens that laws and company policies require employees to wear visible name badges at their job. And luckily, governments are also mandating safety devices for employees within specific employee groups. So this is where we come in. We created the first smart badge reel for employee safety. And what we do, we buy time when time is the most expensive. How? During unpredictable, life-threatening situations and during mass evacuations. So it's pretty simple. The badge, you, you, you press it for three seconds, and we locate where you are within an indoor facility that could be a half a million square feet facility, or if you're on the ground doing uh, sales or as a utility crew worker or a social worker, the list goes on. So I'd like to go through some specific use cases. So in the industrial workplace, obviously accidents happen all the time in plastic manufacturing facilities and mining floors. With our technology, safety directors know exactly when something goes south and can respond in 90 seconds or less, saving lives. With hospitals, healthcare workers are 22x more likely to suffer violence while they're on their job. With our technology, corporate security directors can respond in anywhere in the hospital in less than 90 seconds, and that, once again, saves lives. Not to mention home health emergency situations where some healthcare systems have thousands of employees distributed across the state, and they face these incidents frequently. Now, that's not all we're doing. We've been partnering with different corporate well, Fortune 500s to protect their executives when they travel, when they commute, and most of the executives don't like bodyguards following them. So we found a happy medium where they wear incognito wearables that notifies their bodyguard that can respond to them in less than a minute. So our technology works anywhere. We have users in Mexico and Brazil and the US, and we're just getting started. Our business model is stupid simple. We charge a monthly fee per user, and we can scale to hundreds of thousands of users in no time because we have our operations and manufacturing in the US. So let's talk about our second use case. Today, there is no evacuation drill standards in any industry. OSHA recommends that you do a fire drill every quarter, every, every month, every semester, depending on your use case. But let, there's no real data around that, and that's where we're coming in. With our technology, we can locate who has successfully evacuated, who is on the emergency route, and who is not moving or has not checked in, focusing on those people. We're buying time, making fire drills from anywhere from 30 minutes to five hours, and we're improving that by 50% by locating and helping emergency management staff save lives during those emergencies and improve their fire drill process so that when an earthquake happens, they can quickly react and there's a process in place. So we're bringing this telematic data to the industry for the first time. Now it's important to mention, with Big Brother being out there, Nine out of 10 employees would lose trust in their employer if they had an always-on wearable that can know where they are at all times. We maintain a culture of trust because we give the power to the employees, we build a safety culture with them, and we've gotten insane amounts of opt-ins from employee groups. Now, since I mentioned we're investing in, in, in infrastructure within plastic manufacturing floors and other industries, we can now start upselling. We have our first customer that we upselled an asset tracking solution with, and we can locate where their half a million dollar molds are at any time. So we're protecting human capital and assets for corporations across the country and across the continent, and we're just getting started. So it's a pretty exciting time for us. In the last year, we've grown by seven customers, and we just onboarded a 60 floor building in Mexico, as well as the second biggest utility company, a plastic manufacturer in the Plastics Hall of Fame, and we're working with three regional healthcare systems. 
This is an attractive industry with 22x multiples, and we've seen that, and we're just getting started. We just onboarded an advisor who sold his company to Garter World, the biggest security company, for over a billion dollars. So we're very excited for what's coming, and really, we're a, a mission-driven team. We've been building wearables for the last four years. We brought the smallest wearable to, to market. We've won prestigious awards, but most importantly, we've prevented and de-escalated incidents. So my ask today is, to, if you guys are obviously insuring plastic manufacturers, hospitals, executives, utility companies, industrial workplaces, we should definitely talk because the people we work with in the corporate security world definitely understand the value that we're providing and quickly fork out decent sized contracts for us. So thank you very much.